In this video, we're going to look at setting up materials and feeds and speeds inside of Bobcat. To set up a new material, we come to the cam tree, click the plus symbol next to cam part, and then right click milling tools. You'll see here we have both a part and a default setting. The default will make available all of the materials, and the part will only make available the current material that you're working with. Changes made to the part cutting conditions will only affect the part file that you're currently working with. The default settings will change the global settings for all of Bobcad and all the files that you make in the future. So for this we'll go to default then cutting conditions. This is where the materials are set up inside of Bobcad. You can see on the left here we get a list of available materials. Now, these are just the default materials that come loaded within Bobcad. The feeds and speeds will need to be set up by the user. There's many variables that can change how you set up your materials, such as what tooling you use, and also what machine you're using. Let's take a look at the first item in here, say soft steel. If we click the plus symbol to expand this now, below this we'll see that we have hull, mill, and parameters. Let's look at hole. Now this gives us the name of the material, which this name can be renamed. You can change this to any name that you want. Say if it were plastic. Then click OK and you'll see that the name of the material has been updated. You can also load and save files. So you can set up a material file with several different types of plastic, say or you can set up a material file and save out a material file with your different metals, woods, or whatever material it is that you'll be machining. Now the feed and speed setup is listed by tool. So here under hole we have all of our different drilling types or all of our different drilling tools, our hole parameters. You have small tool and large tool. What all of these values are are surface feet per tooth for cutting speeds for each tool. So what we have here, say for center drill, is when using our small tool, we have 33 surface feet a minute, or 0 .002 inch per revolution. These settings are going to be best determined by your tooling manufacturer, or you can look at tooling specs. These values set in the Bobcat are very reserved. You'll find that they're not as fast as they could be and you'll really need to customize this for your materials and your feed rates. Now for each item you have small tool and large tool. The difference between the two of these are small tools are everything below 0.118 in diameter. Large tools are 0.118 and above in diameter. So you'll need to come through this list for each material and set up the surface feet per tool, per tooth, for each item, for your holes, for milling, which gives you all of your end mills, as well as your parameters. Now, parameters are a little bit different. The hole and mill cover over going through your feed rates and surface feet. Parameters goes through things such as your drilling options. There's a lot of things in the background that can be calculated by Bobcad based off of these settings. You have, let's say, your length of through cut. So when a drill cuts through the part, as we're in the drilling dialog, this is the extended length that the drill will go through in addition to the material. So all of these settings can be modified to match what it is that you need. All, everything that's said in here can also be overrided at the individual feature level while making programs in Bobcad. So it's optional to come set up these materials. If you do, every program that you use, selecting material, will use the values that you input here, making for consistency. The amount to retract between pecs. You can find a full list of what all these values do through the Bobcad help files and also through the FAQs on our website at bobcad.com. These material files can also be changed for an individual part. 
So if we right click milling tools, go to part and then cutting conditions, this only affects the current material and allows you to override all of these values at an individual job level. You can also save these out to create different cutting conditions. Give them a name and then save. Now also when you've set up your machine file you can set up different cutting conditions to default to work with that machine. So there here's a cutting conditions file and you can change which cutting conditions file is loaded so you don't have to keep going in and changing these settings over and over again. The material can be selected below milling stock. Here we can see it says soft steel. If we want to change to the current plastic, we can right click, go to edit, and then select from this list. Now plastic's not in this list because we have just defined it. We may need to start a new file to be able to select the new material. Here it is, plastic. And that's because we changed the, not the job settings, but we changed the default settings. So default will affect future files that you make. Part will affect the current file. And that pretty much sums up how the materials in